Hello everyone. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. We are back with another video for video for SketchUp. In this video we'll be seeing how to create a metal material in V-Ray. So let's get started. Firstly, we'll go to this website called Polygon to download the material. So now I'll go under textures and choose a metal texture. And in this website, you can see a lot of textures which are available, out of which a few are paid and a few are free. So let's just go to free textures for now and then search for a metal material. So as you guys can see, you can see a lot of free textures over here. And now I'll go and choose the category of the material as metal. And now I'll be able to see only the metal materials. So once I do this, I'll choose a metal material from here to download. So I'll click on the third material over here, which says metal stainless steel brushed. And once I do that, I get to see the preview of the material also. I get to see the download options. So here you can just go select the resolution of the material. 1K being the lowest resolution and 8K being the highest resolution. I'll just go and choose a 4K image and then click on free download. And once I do that, the download will start and the material will be downloaded as a zip file. So now just go to the location where your file is saved, right click on the material and then extract the files to a folder. And once the file is extracted, you will see a folder which contains all your material files. So now go into the folder and check your maps which are downloaded. So here you have two options. It says previews and specular. Go down to specular and then choose the 4K image and then you will see your maps. So here we see a color map, gloss map, normal map, normal map 16 bit reflection map it is very easy to identify the maps of the materials as they are mentioned in the name very clearly so now we'll come back to sketchup and v-ray and see how to create this material so to start off with i'll go to my asset editor and then choose the create asset option on the left bottom and then choose the create asset option so here since we are creating a material I'll go down to materials and in this, I'll get a few templates from which we can create materials. So usually we always use the generic material to create most of our materials, but along with that, we'll also have to use the other templates to create a particular material. For example, we use a metallic material template to use a metal material, emissive template to create a emissive material. Likewise, we use a two-sided material to create a curtain material and a carpet template to create a carpet material. So likewise, we have different templates to create different materials in V-Ray. So now, since we are creating a metal material, I'll go and choose the metallic option. So once I choose my metallic template over here, you get to see the preview of the material. Firstly, I'll go and rename the material to stainless steel. So right click on the material and then choose the rename option and then do rename it. And once you rename the material, we'll have to start adding the bitmaps to this particular material template. So firstly, we'll go to the material folder over here and then check what are the different maps which are available. So we have a color map which is used for the color of the material. So we need to add it over here. And then we have a gloss map, normal map and a reflection map. So coming back to V-Ray, we'll click on the color option. Make sure the texture slot is activated and then click on the texture slot. So here, click on the texture slot and then choose the bitmap option. And once you do that, you get a prompt of the material folder itself. So here, choose your color map and then click on open. So now you guys can see that the color map has been opened. Come back to the main material template using these arrow keys over here. And then choose the next option, which is your normal map. So go down to bump and normal mapping, activate the bump and normal mapping option. And here, change the more or map to a 
normal map from a bump map. So once you do that, click on the texture slot again and then choose the bitmap. And again, choose the normal map over here. There are two normal maps which says normal map and then normal map 16 bit. So the normal map 16 bit is of a higher resolution. So I'll be choosing the normal map 16 bit and then choosing open option and I'll be able to open the normal map as well. So now come back and again add your reflection map. So here we can see that there is no reflection option at all. So what we have to do is we have to add a reflection layer or add a code of reflection. So for that, I'll choose the add layer option and then go to reflection. So usually when you're creating a material, if you're not seeing the bump map or the displacement option or any other parameter over here, just go and choose the add layer option and you will be able to see that particular map or that particular parameter in this drop down. So for now, I'll be choosing the reflection option. So once I choose the reflection option, we already have a glossiness map. So I'll click on the texture slot of reflection glossiness and then add the reflection map. So click on the texture slot, choose the bitmap option and then choose the gloss map. And after that, just click on open and your reflection glossiness map also will be open. Come back and then choose the reflection color option and then choose the bitmap again and then choose the reflection map. So here we can see the reflection map and once I select the reflection map, I'll click on open again. So once all of this is done, come back to see the final preview of your material. So once the material is created, we will now go back to our model and then try to add the stainless steel material to this particular model and then take a render of this. So I have downloaded this from the 3D warehouse. You guys can check the link in the description to download the same model from the 3D warehouse. So now I'll just go choose my stainless steel material and start applying it to the model over here. So once the material is added, you guys can see that I've already done the light settings that has fixed the lights accordingly and also set the scene. So now I'll just come back to my scene one and then take a render of this. And now you can see the render, but in the render, as we can observe, the size of the material is too high and that is why we are able to see these black lines. So we'll just go and adjust the size of this material now. So I'll stop the render and then go to the default ray to adjust the size of this material. So in materials, I'll come down to the edit section and here I'll be changing the size of the material. So once I change the size of the material, I'll now come and take a re-render again. So now once I change the size of the material, you can see that the material looks fine. So here I'll be stopping the render, we'll take a final render and then you can see the final output of the scene. As you guys can see, this is the final output of the material which we have created. Likewise, go to the website, download few other metal materials and then try the same. Hope you guys like this. Please leave your questions in the comment section below. Also, let me know if you have any other suggestions for the upcoming videos. And please do like, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel to see more videos. Thank you.